So here we are at November 25th. Just a reminder, we planted most of these on the 20th. And everybody's looking pretty happy. December 1st. Looking good. We've had some cooler days. And I think the plants like that. Instead of being cooked by the sun all day long. Hey, Matilda. This soil office is a mess. I got some cleaning to do. Not the most beautiful soil office, but it's an improvement. We can walk through now. So, I ran out of my bug spray today, and since some of you have asked what we use for mosquito and bug repellent, I figured this would be a good time to show you. So, here we go. I have an empty glass bottle. Generally, I like to use a bigger one, but just for the sake of getting one made, I'm just gonna use this smaller bottle. I believe this is an eight ounce jar. I filled it up about half and half of distilled water and witch hazel. Witch hazel has been used for a very long time in traditional medicine for soothing the skin, relieving inflammation, reducing swelling, and it actually acts as an effective insect repellent. We have the witch hazel and the distilled water in the bottle, but I left a little bit of room for me to personalize a bit. There's a lot of great recipes out there that call for essential oils or dried herbs to help create a homemade insect repellent. You can use a couple of ingredients or you can use a bunch. In this case, I'm going to use six essential oils that I like to incorporate into my bug off spray. Uh, I'm gonna be using eucalyptus, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, rosemary, lavender, lemongrass, and arborvitae. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Tea tree oil or melaleuca is very effective in repelling insects. It's also antifungal and antiseptic. Next, lemongrass. Lemongrass is closely related to citronella, which is that familiar lemony scent that you get from the citronella candles. So since I don't have citronella, I'm gonna go ahead and use lemongrass. Arborvitae is one of the newer essential oils we have in our arsenal. I love the smell. I love woodsy smells, earthy smells. It also has a compound that naturally repels insects, and it's also used for preserving wood. I've heard of people making recipes with arborvitae and lemon to preserve wood finishes. So we're gonna use this in the bug spray too. Rosemary, a familiar, familiar herb in the household. Even just having some planted rosemary nearby acts as a great insect repellent. Later in the day when we're out here working in the garden, I get eaten up alive if I don't have something on. Rosemary, definitely gonna add it to the bug spray. Lavender, I also like using it because it soothes the skin. So this is great just in case you've already been bitten by something. This is awesome to throw into the mix and it'll help 
give it more of a floral smell since some of these other ingredients are going to be a little on the woodsy, stronger side. So lavender, I'm happy to use anytime. Last but not least, eucalyptus. Very helpful in deterring insects. It's actually one of the ingredients in a lot of commercial insect repellents, so let's use it. With this eight ounce jar, I'll probably just do about 10 to 15 drops, give or take, of these essential oils. Some other essential oils that are great for adding to a bug repellent are clove, citronella, peppermint, and another great addition is neem oil. We actually hope to plant a couple of neem trees here on the property, uh, preferably in areas where people are going to be sitting a lot and hanging out. There it is. I am armed and ready. And it smells good, which is awesome. Different things work for different people. We like to try the homemade natural route before resorting to some of the more popular products out there. The thing with homemade bug sprays is that you have to reapply more often than some of the commercial products out there. Would I recommend this stuff for taking a long hike in a thick forest? Maybe not, but it's definitely worth a try. I feel like Eric never gets bit up and I'm constantly covered in mosquitoes. So I'm really happy to have this back in my hands. How's the garden looking?